today from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. It's a special Halloween presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Still a bit warm here in Florida, but really all things considered, a wonderful fall afternoon for football here in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New England Patriots and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Alongside Charles Davis and Charles, you take a look at this Buccaneer ball club. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, Antonio Brown on the road. They're hitting their stride of late. Winners of three of their last four. Always fun to get a peek at Tom Brady as he gets in place to command this offense for Tampa Bay. And you and I both know that any win is a good win, and that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an Had interception. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. On first down, Brady to Evans on the slam. And he's brought down after a very nice game. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Here's a throw caught by Gronkowski. Not much there, only a yard. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Coverage on the play by Patrick Chung. Throwing is Brady on third down. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Out come the New England Patriots, led by their six foot five veteran quarterback, Cam Newton. Brandon, I don't know about you, but when I heard he threw five touchdown passes last week, I thought, well, he's going to be the AFC Offensive Player of the Week. I didn't need to hear any other stats, and it turned out to be right. That's exactly right. It seemed like every time we turned around, he was throwing one in the end zone, but he doubled down. He said, I see five more in this game. Challenge accepted. Challenge. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Sony Michelle, the ball carrier. The numbers a week ago for Michelle. 16 carries, 54 yards. They've won two straight games and have done it with the running game as the focal point of their offense. So in this contest, I don't think about doing anything else. I continue. And down he goes. A Buccaneer sack. A loss of six yards. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. So now after the sack, Cam and the Patriots going to look up at a third and long. Out of the gun, Newton. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. 
And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. At their own 28-yard line. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. Now this will go for five up to the 33. The numbers for Jones last week, 18 carries, 121 yards. And when you lead the league in rushing for this stretch of time, now you take on the identity. You now lead the team, and everything runs through you in terms of offense. Well, we've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Now a first down carry by Jones. A gain of three, second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 32-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. 32-yard line. Brady's throw there complete. Seven yards to pick up there. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? Not like any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Third and two. They'll try and run for the Jones. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Patriots, nothing. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down the defense. On the return, the Patriots take over first and ten. The Pats at the line ready to go. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Or just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. The throw there finding its way to Boyle. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. A shotgun snap for Newton. Punches with a catch over the middle. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked by Antoine Winfield, Jr. Antoine Winfield, Jr. New 
Washington's that throw Charles over the middle of the field and a few too many bodies in there got picked that's a normal situation too isn't it no matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes there's always going to be a traffic jam it feels like towards the middle and if there's any type of a missed throw or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area an interception can result They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Shotgun now for Brady. This into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. First time into the red zone for the Buccaneers. They've got it first and goal at the 7. Now Jones. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Brings up second and goal. Brady gives this one off to Jones. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Chase Winovich. Third and goal now, mere inches from Pater. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through, and they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They find themselves down here after an interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. But all in all, you'd have to say fortunate to be only down six. Yeah, and you know how teams huddle on the sideline before they come out on the field in between series? Guaranteed what's said there is, guess what, guys? We take this ball, move it downfield, put it in the end zone, we're right back to even. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. They'll run with Michelle. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. A loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11 at the 39 yard line. On second and 11 now. Newton. Open man is Myers. Newton's the reception good for seven. It's third down. A gain of seven yards. And it's third down. From the gun, here's Newton. He's going to find his tight end, Boyle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll run it. This is Michelle. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. Sony Michelle. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From the 25, here's second and six. From the gun, Newton finding Harris over the middle. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. New England. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. That catch good for only a couple. 
And that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are good. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Sony Michelle. Sony Michelle, his first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots are an extra point away from going out in front. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because he's going to cover him. And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone, taking it about the one. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Bucks take over first and 10. At their own 27 yard The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. We've got a little more than a minute to go, and I think the offense is saying, hey, all we need here, a field goal, and we can take the lead into intermission. Do I think that's what the goal should be? Give your kicker a chance to give you those three points. But in the meantime, if someone falls asleep on the defensive side, he might take advantage of that and get a big shot downfield, too. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. So many screen passes are the result of excellent acting by everyone. But sometimes the guy who's getting the ball tips to play off. <laughs> the running back, because he's, he's eager to get the pass. And sometimes he doesn't act very well about whether he's going to block or leak out or whatever. And he'll oh, take this look into look the look end up, zone. Man. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. First of all, roughing the passer, defense. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty, no question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over with the penalty? I don't even know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And that'll make this a six-point game. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. On first down, Newton. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. That's complete into the hands of Myers. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down. Newton. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. First carry for Damian Harris, the Alabama man. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the humid Florida sky. With it is Brown. Holding, receiving team. A pretty good return, all things considered, but holding. I agree with you totally. It's actually a return that they were going to be very proud of. But when you end up holding and bringing it back, now your offense has to start a little bit deeper in their own territory. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. The Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Throwing again. Brady going right back to Jones. This time the connection made. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Brings up third and six. 
Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. Again, they'll throw with Brady. He'll buy some time right. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll give him a fresh set of downs. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. The final shot before half for Brady, escaping the pressure right. And that's going to be incomplete. So we are at halftime here on Halloween. As we send you a stone's throw away across I-4 to Orlando, there standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, make sure you avoid the crazies out there and welcome in everybody to this Halloween edition of our EA Sports Halftime Report. We'll get started over at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta, and it's the Panthers who are out in front. Curtis Samuel, a touchdown reception. Next, we head up to the Windy City. Check on the Bears at home, Soldier Field. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Lions. Jimmy Garoppolo with three touchdown passes. Finally, we head to the shores of Lake Erie. See what's going on with the Cleveland Browns. And they've got the lead in their ball game over the visiting Cincinnati Bengals. Keelan Cole, a touchdown reception. In the game you're watching, it's who else? Tom Brady with a strong first half. He's thrown for close to 200 yards already, and that's helped propel his guys into the lead as we send you back to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Bradley Pinion to kick off. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. 25-yard line. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk? when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission. Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave them with a third and about three to go. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There's absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Defensively, they rallied the troops to force fourth down after that seven-yard pickup back on first. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. A good kick, 48 yards, four on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So here are the Bucs to take over on offense. Last week, they got a good victory over the Dallas Cowboys, and they are in the driver's seat here right now as well. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. At the 24 yard there with a the tackle, Dietrich Wise Jr. It's second and eight. Again, it's Jones. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Two yards on the first down carry and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Patriots take over. 
Cam going to bring the Patriots up now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And he'll hand this to Michelle to get things started. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. I have to think a major focus at a halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And it's third down. Throwing on third down, Newton. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. On first and 10, Newton to Michelle on the screen. Three yards the game there, second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. On second down, Michelle. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked so well, else. and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. A gain of 13, it's a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving. Scan the field. And here he finds the open. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. It's the former Michigan man, Chase Winovich, who gets in there to bring him down. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked off at the 36. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Well, you don't want to coach him, Charles, to stay in the pocket on every play, but I guess that's the danger of getting outside of the pocket, extending a play and making a bad throw. Turns into six points the other way. Yeah, sometimes when you get outside the pocket, your, your vision actually gets obscured a little bit or you narrow it down too much and you don't see all the defenders in the area. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Now Brady to try again after the pick six. That's complete to his running back, Evans. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Throwing now is Brady. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. A third quarter now to one-point game as they line up second and 10. Brady again here on second and 10. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 39. And that is 
is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on first down is Brady. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Into the red zone, it's Brady. A good grab there by the former Central Michigan man, Antonio Brown. And he ate up some real estate on the catch, too, didn't he? I think the most impressive part of it, though, if there's a chance for him to get the football, even though he was covered well, he somehow finds a way to get it. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Evans. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bucs are going to retake the lead. And man, Charles, talk about singing something in there. Those gloves, they help with one-handed catchers, the fun stuff. Any padding for a rocket like that? One would think so, but I guarantee you this, after that throw, his hands will hurt later. Not right now in the moment. He's just feeling good about catching. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 20. And can you believe this? It's two points the other way on the fumble return. Boy, that got pretty close to disaster. Going for two, you cough it up. They almost returned it all the way to the other end for two for themselves. You think Electra on ball security is in order here? Because it, and it's not just taking care of it. It's what you just talked about. What can result when you don't take care of it? They almost gave up a score. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Now left side on the swing pass. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Complete. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Out of the gun, Newton. Caught left side by Funches. The 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Devin Funches. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Patriots have retaken the lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go. Uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Taking it about the one. Muscles him off. And he's going to be out of bounds. Here is the run back. We'll leave him shy of the 20-yard line. First and 10. At their own the Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Now a dump off here complete. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. The Bucks on third down, just one for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. It's caught, Jones! And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 16, first down Tampa Bay. 43-yard line. Brady to throw again. It's complete to Brown, right side. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in his performance. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. A pass underneath for Fournette. 
And the Buccaneers are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Brings up second and goal at the Patriots' eight-yard line. Brady, and he's got his tight end, Howard. It's a Buccaneer touchdown. O.J. Howard, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bucs have taken the lead here in the fourth. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure if someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. Cam Newton and the Patriots set to go again on offense. A field goal does him no good. They need a touchdown. And right now, in his mind, in his memory bank, he's drawing on times that he's done this before. Not necessarily in the NFL. College, high school, peewee ball, wherever. <laughs> Anything positive that he remembers about taking a team downfield with a chance to win, he's going to draw on that for this drive. I'm sure that these guys live for these moments. Here we go. To throw again on second down. Newton. Open man is Myers. Seven yards there and a first down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now a first down throw for Newton. Funches with a catch over the middle. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Devin Funches. His 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Patriots have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. He's got it. And this is indeed up to a three-point lead. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it ends with a New England touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Bucs take over first and 10 at their own 20. Tom Brady in the offense, down by a field goal, a minute 52 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. They'll look to throw. Space to maneuver at the 40. He's got his big tight end, Gronkowski. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. To throw is Brady. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Second and two. Brady to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Back to throw, Brady. He gets it to Brown, complete. And finally out of bounds inside the five at the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. The offense just continues to reign supreme. Big plays, both sides, back and forth. Tough to keep track of. It certainly is, and I'm over here just marveling at what I'm seeing. It's tough for you, though. You've got to call all these big plays and have all this emotion each time they go at each other. Line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line. Second and goal at the four-yard line. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. It's a never say never situation. But to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but that you got to rally your kick team, don't you? And say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. 
Extra point put through by Sucka. And that will make this a four-point game. 30. Bradley Pinion. following the touchdown now. It's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So now all eyes on the Patriots. Trailing by four, 55 seconds remaining. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw. And this one complete right side to Funches. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And he's going to drop this down to Harris, middle of the field. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Newton to throw. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. They'll get this underneath to Michelle. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. That first down completion only netted them three. Second and seven. Newton. That's to his running back, Sony Michelle. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. He's padding his already great numbers here in overtime. More importantly, though, moving his guys downfield. And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right now. Moving them downfield, putting them in a position to win the game. The stats, that's for the fantasy guys. <laughs> I know they're enjoying that show. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance.